Hey guys, Andy here. Um, we are going to import some footage from an EX3 camera. Tell you what the workflow is. This is the card from the Sony cameras that you're using, and on it um, is a folder called a BPAV folder, BPAV, and inside are all your media files that we don't touch, so we don't touch the structure of this thing. So what's going to happen is that you can take this card, plug it into the card reader with Avid open and a bin open and a bin active, bin right here, EX3 footage. So Avid is open, um, everything's set up, the format is correct. And what's going to happen is when I plug in my card reader, Avid will automatically mount these files into this folder. So watch. And there we go. Now, these folders, these icons indicate these are AMA volume mounted, meaning that all we're doing is Avid is pointing to these files, but these files have not been imported, so to speak. So since we can't keep this with us all the time, we have to import these files. Now the problem is, is that we don't call it importing with AMA volumes, we call it transcoding. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick each clip like that. Shift click. You can figure that out. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to consolidate transcode. We get this little, oh you can't see me anymore. We get this little thing right here, our, our dialog box. We have to click on transcode, send it to the correct Avid Media Files folder, and that's pretty much all we have to do. Video and audio on the same drives, and we can just press transcode and watch what happens in the window. And here we go. It's converting the clips. So we have a little bit of time right now. Now here's the deal. If you're out on in the field, you're going to want to back this stuff up. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the contents of this card onto our hard drives. So the BPAV folder will go in a folder named Day One Shoot, some folder which is the mother folder. So back up your footage, put it on a hard drive, a hard drive like this, into a folder which states the name of the shooter, whatever, card number one. And then you can always mount the AMA volume or get the same stuff down here that you've gotten with this with the folders on your hard drive. I'm going to do a second video to explain that. We're just going to wait until this is done. So right now we're making copies or we're importing the footage from the EX3 from our card reader. It's almost done. This video is getting long. <gasps> Please hurry up. Yes, there it is. So here's all the new stuff over here. So these are in my Avid Media Files folder. This stuff is the linked stuff from the card reader. I'm now going to delete it. And I'm going to delete those three master clips. It doesn't delete the media. It just deletes the pointers or the names. And there we go. So now here's our footage. It's safe in an Avid Media's folder as a .mxf, and we're ready to edit. Okay? I'll do another video and talk about what if we copied this to a hard drive.